Zero and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. A Space Shuttle liftoff is an awe-inspiring sight, but the journey doesn't begin on the launch pad. It has to get there first. Rollout means moving a fully assembled Space Shuttle and its mobile launcher platform across more than three miles of NASA's Kennedy Space Center. You try to think of it kind of like a job, but it does give you a real great sense of pride you know, to know that you're carrying you know, the nation's space program on your back. It begins inside the Vehicle Assembly Building, or VAB, where the shuttle is joined to its external fuel tank and solid rocket boosters. The entire assembly is built on top of the mobile launcher, which rests on a set of six 22-foot tall pedestals. The 12 million pound load is carefully picked up and carried on the back of a crawler transporter, a nearly six million pound beast of a machine capable of incredible precision. It takes 20 to 30 minutes for the crawler's jacking, equalization, and leveling system, called the gel, to lift the entire load high enough to clear the supports. When the vehicle is ready and the weather is right, the shuttle launch director gives the go-ahead to begin the move. Probably, you know, other than launch landing, uh, one of the most critical times for the vehicles between the VAB and the pad, because there's no weather protection, there's no lightning protection. The crawler and its extraordinary cargo start off down the 130-foot wide crawler way, inching along at the careful speed of almost one mile an hour. A team of about 30 United Space Alliance crawler drivers, technicians, mechanics, and supervisors operate the crawler during the move, which takes at least six hours. The rollout team stays sharp during the 12 to 14 hour shift by taking turns at different jobs. So it is a long, it's a long evening, because typically we, we do it at night. Uh, but we do try to change out as far as in the driving positions and the other positions on the crawler so that nobody gets too fatigued or anything like that. The crawler has identical front and rear driver cabs, a control room, and two engine rooms, each with a huge 2,750 horsepower diesel engine for propulsion. As slow and precise as the rollout is, crawler drivers have to plan ahead. So you have to really be on your game and you have to be thinking ahead about where you want to be uh, one, two, three minutes ahead of time. Even with so much strength and engineering capability, the crawler has a few more basic needs to support. There are no meal breaks or bathroom stops once the crawler gets going, so they bring it all with them, including the bathroom. Anything we need, we bring with us. We're self-sufficient as far as uh, water, electricity. We bring our own food, refrigerator, microwave. And one of the most important things that we uh, have with us here on the crawler is our portalettes. There's one more critical challenge ahead once the shuttle arrives at the launch pad. The crawler's gel system must keep the shuttle level as it moves up the ramp to the top of the pad. Then drivers in both cabs position the mobile launcher platform over another set of pedestals with the help of a high-tech laser alignment system. Uh, probably, uh, I'll call it the culmination of the trip is of course taking the crawler and the uh, shuttle and the platform up on the pad and docking it. You know, that's, that's always, uh, that's always kind of what you'd call a tense time, and you want to get it exactly right, you want to set it down exactly right. At that point, the shuttle is secured at the launch pad, and rollout is complete. Now the shuttle is ready to start final preparations for another exciting mission. You know, we're out at the pad, the vehicle's set down at the pad, and we're bringing the crawler down the hill. And uh, you know, as we're coming down the hill, looking back at the vehicle sitting on the pad, knowing that you, know, you and your, your group played a major part in, in getting that out there.